Hi guys, my name is Alex, <laughs> and uh, my sister is helping me today with my videos, as you saw her beautiful face earlier. Um, so today we're going to be doing lower body blasts, so we're going to start out with a warm up, and then we're going to do three circuits, and you guys should repeat that for about three times to get the full workout. Um, so we're going to do some stretching. So with our stretching, we're just going to keep our arms across, we're going to stretch out our arms a little bit because we will utilize them today. Good, then you're going to bring the other one across your chest. Good. Good, now we're going to stretch out our legs. So we're going to bring one leg up behind us. Good, then we're going to take our knee up. Good. Then we're going to switch to the other side. Good, then we're going to bring that knee to our chest. Over. Good, then legs apart. You're gonna put your hands in the center. We're gonna stretch it out. Good, in this position, I want you guys to try to bring your hands through your legs. Good, then you're gonna rotate to the right. Good, and then rotate to the left. With these, you want to hold each about like 15 to 30 seconds, depending on how tight you are. Um, and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to be sitting on the floor. We're going to do one leg in, one leg out. You're going to reach for that toe. Hold that for about 10 seconds. And then once you do that, I want you to take your chest and bring it to the front. So over the leg that's crossed. Good. Then you're going to hold this for about 15 to 30 seconds, and then you're going to switch to the other side. Good. So reach for the toe for about 10 seconds. Then you're going to take your chest to the front. Hold that for about 15 to 30 seconds again. Good. And then we're going to go back into butterfly one last time. <coughs> Good, try to push your knees down as far as they can go. Good. Okay, so we're going to start out with our first circuit today. So our first, so each circuit consists of about three things in each of them. So the first one that we're going to do is a reverse lunge. So with a reverse lunge, you want to make sure when you're doing lunges, you want to keep your body in a box, okay? So your toes are going to be facing the way that you're going, and your knees are going to be facing the way that you're going also. So with reverse lunge, when you guys go down, so go down, you're going to lift this front leg. So lift the front leg, and then back, okay? So lift the front leg, and back, okay? From the side, it should look like this. Here, I'll show you because you have this front leg. So with this, you're going to go down, and lift up, and then down, okay? That's what it should look like from the side. We're going to be doing 12 one side and 12 the other. So we're going to do 12 on the right leg. Ready? Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. <laughs> 10, 11, and 12. Good. And then we're going to switch to the other leg. I gave her this book because her balance was a little off. So if you guys struggle with the balance part of it, hold something and, or focus on something on the wall in your room. So we're going to do 12 on the other side. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whoa, 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 <laughs> 10, 11, and 12. Good. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is a burpee jump squat, okay? So with burpees, you're going to jump up. 
you're gonna go down to a plank position then you're gonna bring your legs back in and then as you're coming up keep it in the squat and then jump up again okay so we're gonna be 12 of those I'm gonna have my sister do about like five of them so you guys grasp it and then we'll move on to the next thing okay so ready go one good two three four good and five good okay so the next thing that we're going to do is calf raises so you guys have two options to do calf raises you can keep them stationary like this or if you guys want you can have your feet apart and you can keep it in a squat and just lift your calves from here okay whichever you prefer you're going to do about 12 of those i forgot to mention earlier with our burpee jump squats you can either do 12 of them or you can do 30 seconds if you want a harder workout. Okay, so we're gonna do 12 calf raises. Ready? Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. Another thing with uh, calf raises, if you guys want, you can do them double time so you can keep it pulsing. Okay, which makes it harder. If you guys are going to do the pulsing, I would say to do those for 30 seconds. And that concludes our circuit one. Um, for circuit two, we're going to do clamshells right and left. So you guys are going to be laying on your side. Okay, with clamshells, you guys want to make sure you're just opening the knee and then back down. Okay, we're going to do 12. Ready? Go one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Good. We're going to switch to the other side. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Good. So that was our first thing for circuit 2. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is a line side leg raise. So you guys are going to be laying on your sides. And with this, you're going to have both of your legs straight. You're going to take one leg and lift it up and back down. Okay? We're going to be doing 12. If you guys have bands at home, feel free to put bands on your thighs so it's more resistance. Um, if you guys don't, you can also take like some scarves that might be a little stretchy and tie them up to be a band to give you that resistance. So we're going to do 12, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Good. Then we're going to switch to the other side. Ready? Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Good. So that concludes the second thing. Um, the last thing I'm going to do for circuit two is air squats. Okay. So with air squats, you want to have your feet shoulder width apart as you do with any squat. Okay. And when you guys squat down, make sure you're keeping both of your knees parallel with your hips. So by that, I mean both of your hips and your knees are going straight towards the way that you're going. So with air squats, you're going to have your arms on the diagonal, and you're going to squat down, and then up, okay? We're going to do 12. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Good. So that concludes circuit two. Um, for circuit three, we're going to start out with our jump squats. So you guys have two options for jump squats. You can keep them low here the whole time, okay? Or you can do actual jump squats, which is up and back down, okay? So with our jump squats, I want you guys to do them 30 seconds no matter what. Um, if 30 seconds is too hard for you, you guys can also just keep it at a stationary and you can just do 12 of them. So I'm going to have my sister show you both ways. So we're going to start out with the low ones. So you're going to go in 
and then out. In and out. In and out. Good. Just a little bit longer. Good. And stop. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna show we're gonna show you is the jump ones. So you guys want to be in a squat position. You're gonna squat, and once you go down and you're bringing it back up, you're gonna jump and then back down. Good. Go up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Good. You're gonna do both of those for about 30 seconds. Um, the next thing that we're gonna do is high knees. So you guys have two options with your high knees. These will also be 30 seconds. You can do them stationary or you can do the traditional high knees. Um, with high knees, regardless of which ones you guys are doing, make sure you're bringing that your knee as high to your chest as you can. So with the stationary ones, you guys are going to have your feet shoulder width apart. And you're just going to keep your hands up here so you know how high to bring your knees up. And then you're going to bring your knees to each foot. I mean to each hand. So lift your knee to each hand. Good. I want you guys to try to pump as hard as you can with these, so give it a little bit of a speed. Yeah, good. Okay, so now that is the stationary option. For the second option, you can do actual high knees, which is bringing your knees to your chest. So we're going to show you from side position, so knees to chest. Always want to make sure you're pumping it to your chest, okay? So that's what our jump squats should look like. The last thing that we're going to do is not jump squats. Yes, high knees, sorry. <coughs> so the next thing that we're going to be doing is a jump lunge. Okay? So with jump lunges, like I've been saying with all of our <coughs> other lunges, you want to keep them in a box and you're going to go down and jump up and down. Okay? So you're going to be doing 12 of those if doing it for 30 seconds is too much for you. So I'm going to have my sister show you a couple of them. So we're going to do about five. And then we'll do them the stationary way also. Okay? So ready? Go one, two, three, four, five, okay? Stationary ones of these. So you guys are gonna do the lunge. So you're gonna go lunge, and then you bring your knee, your legs back together. No, 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 go to lunge. Lunge, and then you're gonna bring both feet back together and bring it up, good. And then you're gonna go back into our lunge. Okay, so jump up, good, and then back into our lunge. Okay, so let's do three of those. Ready, go one, <laughs> two, three, good. So that was our two options of doing them the normal way or an easier way on your knees. Um, the last thing that we're gonna be doing is our cool down, but before that, I wanna talk about our circuits. So since each circuit, circuit consists of three things, I want you guys to do each circuit about three times. That should total about to a 30 minute workout. Um, so now we're just gonna move on to our cool down. So with the cool down, you're gonna move your feet apart. You're just gonna sway back and forth. Okay, we're gonna stretch out our lower part of our back. This also helps our hamstrings a little bit. And now in this position, I want you to take your hands and walk them forward. As you're walking forward, I want you guys to go into the cobra to stretch it out. Good, and then you're gonna bring it back into child's pose. Good, with this, once you guys get into the cobra and the child's pose, I want you to go back and forth about three or four times. Good. And then we're going to go back into a butterfly position. Excuse me. I want you guys to just flutter your legs a little bit. Push your knees down as far as you can go. Good. Now I want you to take your toes out to the front. I want you guys to reach for your toes. If you can't reach for your toes, reach for your ankles. If ankles are even hard, just try to get them past your knees. Good, and then the last stretch that we're going to be doing is we're going to take our legs out. And then you should bring your chest to the floor, okay? You really should feel this in your hamstrings a lot. If you guys want more stretching at the end, go back to the beginning of the video, or you can look at my other videos to find more cool down stretches. Good, and that is our video today. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, you can find me on Instagram at Alex Bruno. And I will be happy to answer any questions. Thank you.